Hello, my name is Kendra and I'm with the Admiral Platform team. Today I'm going to walk through how to get started with Admiral Platform and how to add a micro tick to the dashboard. Let's get to it. I'm going to begin at admiralplatform.com and I'm going to hit get started. And depending on your location, you may want to create your account under a different region. We have servers located in Atlanta, Georgia, which is used for both US and Latin America customers, Frankfurt, Germany, Cape Town, South Africa, or Tokyo, Japan. Select whichever region is closest to you for the best connection. Then you'll just enter your information, create a password, and register. So you'll have to activate your account through email. So open your inbox and click the activate your account link in the email. Now you should be able to log in. This will prompt a two-factor authentication check. You'll want to go back to your email and then enter the code that was sent to your inbox. And the last step to registration is adding a payment form. We accept most credit cards and bank transfers. You will initially be charged $2 for the first 30 days and you can add as many routers as you'd like test the platform and you can cancel at any time. After 30 days, your account will be charged $2 per router per month. There are no contracts nor minimums and you can close your account at any time. So now we are subscribed to Admiral Platform. Let's add a router to the dashboard. First, make sure your router is online and accessible through Winbox or SSH. Under router list, we're going to select the green add router button along the top. Enter a nickname to identify your router plus any other details and then click submit. The next screen will display a router configuration. You'll want to copy this. Now we'll open Winbox and connect to the router we are adding. From the menu, we'll select new terminal, right click, paste. And remember in some versions of Winbox, you should not use control V. And now you can access your router remotely from anywhere. So to do so, we'll go to router list, copy the router's remote access link, then open Winbox and enter the address into the connect to line, enter the login and password for the device and connect. And you are now logged into your router as though it is on your network. If you encounter any issues, here's some ways to troubleshoot. Your PC's IP must be configured for you to remote access your router. If it's not, you'll see this message. If you see this warning, it means you have a new IP and you need to update it. You can simply click the Fix It button and it will add your IP to an allowed list. If the Fix It button does not resolve your issue, try the Open Now button on the router. This will allow you to log in from anywhere for 10 seconds. And that's it. You are now ready to remotely access your Microtix from anywhere. Remember to check out our YouTube for other Admiral Platform tutorials and general Microtech educational content. See you next time.